Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can use Zoho Recruit off of this screenshot that I have found since I sadly do not have access to the Zoho Recruit service. However, I will be covering some very basics which you can use to actually get started with the service. So let's get right into it. Now, the first step as always is for you to open up your account. You can do this by going to the official Zoho uh, Recruit website and then just going sign up for the service and then you can create your account by entering your credentials, such as your full name, your email address, your phone number, your country, and so on and so forth. And once you do that, you will create your account and verify it using the personal email that has been sent to you. And then once you do that, you will either get a 15 day free trial, which you can continue to use for 15 days, or you can choose a plan uh, out of a number of plans that Zoho offers you, such as the free plan, which is uh, available for up to three people, as far as I'm aware, uh, for all Zoho uh, services, pretty much. Uh, you can use a premium or an even higher subscription depending on the budget that you have. But once you do that, you'll arrive at your home page, which you'll see here. You have your hiring pipeline, your time to fill, your time to hire, and so on and so forth. These are mainly analytics, although you do have an analytics tab, as you can see here at the top of the screen. However, the main two things I will be focusing on are job openings and candidates. Uh, candidates, uh, the this tab is pretty much... Uh, filled automatically when your candidates actually sign up or uh, sign up for a job that you have uh, actually put out a hiring uh, ad, I guess you could say for. And then uh, there you can re review them, review their status, change their status, accept them or deny them from there. Uh, and you can also go to job openings where you can control your job openings, create new ones or modify existing ones. Uh, where you can choose the interest industry for which you're hiring you can choose the actual position the department they're going to be in uh, and then you can set up a job opening from there now uh, i won't be showing you any of these since of course i do not have access however it is very simple to use when you click on any of them you will be greeted by a orange button which says create a job opening or uh, something similar and from there on it is very simple it'll just give you a form to fill out and once you fill out fill out that form with the needed information that is pretty much all you have to do to actually set up a job opening now uh, you can go to interviews to set up interviews in pretty much pretty much the same way uh, the referrals tab i'm not very familiar with so i'll be skipping over that one uh, you have departments where you can check uh, depending on the department that you are covering which uh, candidates are best fitting and how you can check uh, the applications for that said department uh, and for the rest of campaigns I'm not familiar with analytics is pretty much the analytics for the candidates so far assessments as well you have the assessments of your candidates which you can review and edit uh, if you need to do and of course you have your to-do list which you can freely access and freely use to make your life easier and that is pretty much uh, all there is to it for the basics, which I can fit into this video. I know it's not a lot, but I hope it helped you guys, and I hope to see you guys again in the next video.